Hi guys. All right, today is Tuesday and I'm going to go over um, our activities for this afternoon because I have a doctor's appointment. So I want you to um, go to your Seesaw for Science and we're going to do page 14 and 15. So go to activities, go all the way down to your science week 33 and 34. Open up your draft. And then go down here. Wait, did I put the right page? Let me see. Four, oh, 14 and 15. Okay, so 14. So you're going to read about this girl named Tessa, and um, it's called Tessa's Big Day. So you're reading the story to discover some inherited traits and some learned behaviors. Write as many examples as you can um, that you can find on the table. So um, this is where we left off. So we talked about instincts, or I mean, we're going to talk about instincts. So instincts are things that um, you just instinctively know how to do. So it says your genes don't just control the way you look. They can also determine what you do. Instincts, so add this definition to your um your page two, instincts are behaviors, organisms are bo uh, born knowing how to do. So what are some things that you were born knowing how to do? So think about when you were a baby, no one had to tell you, for example, like breathing, no one had to tell you how to breathe or blink or, you know, to swallow or things like that. What did you just instinctively know how to do? Without these instincts, living organisms wouldn't last very long. Every instinct helps an organism survive by sustaining life processes, meaning that um, things like breathing and just the, the normal things that we do um, to sustain life, those, um, those help uh, protecting ourselves, having energy, having mobility, being able to move around, and um, making sure that there are future generations. So, um, you know, plants um, having seeds that produce more of that same plant, uh, adults having children, um, animals having, you know, be offspring, um, their babies. So think as we go through these, I want you to think about, um, you know, how does the bear's instincts help it? How does the blowfish instincts help it? How do these puppies instincts help them? Like, does someone have to tell them to get milk from their mommy or did they just know how to do it? This bird, this peacock. So your genes don't control everything. Many things about you and many things you can do were learned. So, um, for example, um, no one taught me, you know, I wasn't born knowing how to play soccer. Someone had to teach me how to do that. So that's a learned behavior, a behavior that is learned from experience or by watching other animals or um, like in this case, you know, I watched other soccer players or I watched my coach and my coach would show me different things. Um, so those were things that I had to learn. So looking at these photos, you've got this dog catching this ball. Um, these guys, they're taking the stick and they're dipping it down in there to get their food. We've got a baseball player. We've got this tiger here. What are some things that they have learned how to do? Learn behaviors, learn behaviors help an organism survive in similar ways as instincts. They sustain life processes. They help protect ourselves. They help us with energy, mobility, and ensuring that future generations continue. So as we go through here, think about these learned behaviors of this man, these guys, this lady, this guy, These. So animals depend on learned behaviors too. Think about the learned behaviors of each of these animals. So here you have a um, here you have a police dog. 
you've got again um, the animal putting using something like a tool. These guys look like they're pretty hungry. What have they learned? Now remember, some of these are not necessarily just taught, but things that they've seen other people do. So like maybe this guy, he's seen his uh, parents or you know another animal um, in his group, maybe he's seen them do it and he's like, hey, when they did that, they got a yummy treat. Maybe I should try it too. All right, so some things organisms do are a combination of instincts and learned behaviors. So this girl is talking on the phone to her friend. So instincts, what does she naturally um, is, you know, able to do? And then what learned behaviors are also. So, for example, like using the phone, you know, she wasn't born knowing how to do that. She had to learn and observe others. This dog barks when it wants to go outside. Think about the instincts and the learned behavior. So the barking would be, um, he just instinctively knows how to bark, but he's learned that if I bark, then someone's gonna come open the door for me. So I learned that I can use that instinct of mine to be able to get outside. All right, so we're going to pause there and what I want you to do for your independent work is I want you to go through Tessa's big day here and read through there. And you're going to look for some of those inherited traits and learned behaviors. So what kind of things um, were passed on to her? And then learned behaviors. What are some things that she's learned to do either by watching others or, um, you know, being taught? and um, do this left side only. So again, you're going to read Tessa's Big Day and you're going to do the left side of page 15. If there's anything else from above that we've done, um, you can go ahead. So here you got the definitions for those, you can fill that out. So those, um, I'm gonna check off, you should have both of those filled in. Um, make sure that you have watched both of these. Page four should be done. Page five should be done. Um, page six we'll talk about later. Page seven we'll talk about later. Page eight you should have read. Nine you should have read. Ten, page 10 you should have answered. Page 11 and 12, we did this yesterday, so make sure you watch the video on that. Page 13, you should have done that. And then 14, we're at Tessa's big day. And then the rest we haven't done yet. So um, go ahead, make sure you've got all that done. And then for social studies, um, when you're done with that draft, for social studies, we're just going to pick up where we left off yesterday. Okay, it's time to go. And so if you go to your activities and go down to week 34 social studies, there's a lot of you that did not start this yesterday. I'm not sure why I gave um, time yesterday to get started and I'm disappointed that not everybody has theirs drafted. So thank you to those that, um, that did. So here you have your um, map that we started yesterday. Today, um, you might have started this. Um, if not, you can go ahead and do this one today. So it says the Texas flag has three colors. What do these colors stand for? What does the whole flag stand for and represent? So you can read this information here to get your answers. And there's also a website here that you can go to. And then on page three, this is all about the Alamo. So where it's located, who first lived there, what does it actually mean in Spanish? So you can um, go to this website here and get some good information about that. You can color this if you'd like. And then you can on page four, if you're, if you're ahead, um, go ahead and start working on the Texas symbols. When you're done with that, go ahead and draft. And again, um, we have um, PE today, so make sure you go to PE. And I will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.